Back at it with Vikings game plan before we get to the winning formula for this big division game against the Lions. Here is the DraftKings star of the week. It's Latavius Murray. Six yards per carry for Latavius Murray and a couple of touchdowns assisted the Vikings in a 24-7 victory over the Los Angeles Rams. Mike Wabshaw, Vikings.com, Ron Johnson, Vikings game day live from Fox 9. Latavius, well done. Adam Thielen, well done. We begin with Case Keenum, who has thrown for nearly 600 yards in his last two games, and he has five passing touchdowns. Wabi, can he keep it up? Can we stop asking the question? I mean, yes, he's done it. He's done it for half of a season now, and he's buoyed by a great defense and a special teams that is helping them win the field position battle and a running game that is resurgent behind an offensive line that is playing near perfect. So to me, yes, he can, and I'm done asking the question. Compliment that. Well, you know me. I'm going to bring the stats. The next six teams they play are god-awful in the red zone as far as their defense allowing first downs and Sweet. touchdowns. So I think, yes, although the Falcons and the Carolina Panthers are pretty good in the open field, yeah. they struggle in the red zone. And we know Case, if you give him more first downs, he's been awesome. Keenum sets it up near side in the slot, and it's good for a touchdown. It's right in Minnesota, clicking on all cylinders offensively today. Next. The Vikings have lost to the Detroit Lions amazingly three consecutive times. Why do we keep losing to the Lions? Well, the biggest thing is you have to hit Matthew Stafford. You cannot let him get comfortable. That's one of the reasons the games where they lost, they only had like one sack. The games they've won, they've had seven. I think it's keeping Matthew Stafford moving around no matter who's his target, Megatron, Little Tron, or Bumblebee. I think you have to you have to make Matthew Stafford a little nervous. Yeah, Lobby. I think you're right, but and I don't want to take anything away from the Lions, but it's mistakes. It's yeah. mistakes by the Vikings. Absolutely. It's losing three fumbles at home. It's mismanaging the end of the game last year at home, and it's Sam Bradford throwing a pick at the end of the fourth quarter to put the Lions in field goal range yeah. at the buzzer. The Vikings are making mistakes, and they're beating themselves against the Lions. Now, for some reason, they don't do it against other teams as often. They only do it against the Lions. So maybe we got to give the Lions credit for something. Yeah. But it just feels like the Vikings are on the brink of getting over the hump with the Lions, and it's going to happen this week. Not trying to bang on Case Keenum for those two picks at FedEx Field, but the Vikings have not been doing that at key times of close games this season, and that is big in the 8-2 record. Now. Offensively, the Vikings take on a Lions team that is really leaky with run defense and in fact has played in some higher scoring games, including giving up more than 50 points to the New Orleans Saints. So, Wabi, Vikings.com, we begin with you. Key offensive factor against this Lions team in this game. I'm not going to reinvent the wheel. On Vikings Game Day Live last week, Voice of the Vikings, Paul Allen, said the Vikings need to run for about five and a half yards per carry, and then Case Keenum's going to throw for 280. I did? That's what you said. <laughs> Let's go. How did that go? The Vikings ran for like five yards of carry, and Case Keenum had 280 and a touchdown, no picks. That, that's what it comes down to. Because the Vikings were able to do that, Case Keenum was able to throw using play action passing, which is when he's at his best. Mm -hmm. The Vikings controlled the clock with 37 minutes of time of possession. And every time the Vikings defense came out on the field, they were well rested and it paid dividends. Yeah, that's nice, Ronald. Big factor, I'm gonna also make a reason for why Case is closed. Nine out of the 10 games, we've had the number one receiver in that game. Seven out of the 10, we've had the number one running back in those games. Of those seven, seven and oh, and then one and two when they lost. So it starts with the run. If you can end up in third and short, 
they can win the game. Yeah, and as we talked about earlier in the show, you guys point out when you and Pete were breaking down film, mm -hmm. I mean, this is a Lions defense that's ripe for the picking on the ground. And so if the Vikings can take advantage of those matchups, they're going to be able to win the, the time of possession advantage, and that's going to help them. All right, nice job, man. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. On behalf of all of us with Vikings Game Plan, a blessed Thanksgiving to you and your families. And thanks for watching us weekly. Wabi, Ron Johnson, and everybody at the VEN, I'm Paul Allen. Thanks for watching.